So, Spec Ops Shooter Remake, another update landing on Astrobot, and the Bloodborne Boost News. Those are the stories we're going to cover today, and if you could hit that like button on the video, thank you to those that do it, and as always, it's very much appreciated. First, yes or no, are you buying the new Astrobot game or not? We're going to be talking about Astrobot in the video today, but before then, how many of you are buying the new Astrobot game? So comment below, yes or no, if you're buying the new Astrobot game or not, let me know down in the comments below. Now diving into the first story of the video, the Bloodborne Boost news. Reading from Gaming Bolt, June was a big month for From Software fans thanks to the launch of the massively anticipated expansion Elden Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree late in the month. In fact, excitement for the expansion was so high that other From Software titles were also seeing increased player engagement numbers in the lead up to its release. As per a report by True Trophies, based on a data pool of over 3.1 million active PSN accounts across the month of June on PS5 and PS4, Bloodborne saw a 57% increase in its player account, narrowing it down further in the final week of the month following Shadow of the Earth Tree's launch. Bloodborne's player account saw an 11% increase, making it the 65th most played PlayStation title that week. So once again, we're getting another showcase of people's love for this game that at this point is nearly a decade old, which is crazy to to say that this game is nearly 10 years old uh, last we heard about what's going to be happening potentially with bloodborne was that it's it's rumored to be getting a remake similar to the demon souls remake we got for the playstation 5 but obviously here it's for the playstation 6 launch the ps6 at this point is a few years away so that looks possible but it's only a rumor at this point so we're gonna have to wait and see how that actually plays out bloodborne still looks good right now and if it got a bump to 4k with 60 fps support i think the visuals will look great enough for a lot of people to jump back in some people even willing to pay full price just for the remaster of Bloodborne just to play it at 60 FPS that's all people really want however a remake on the PlayStation 6 would be very interesting to see how that looks but of course as I said earlier we're gonna have to wait until then or if Sony decides to announce something sooner that would be a shocker to the industry and if you're enjoying the video so far hit that subscribe button and join our growing community on our way to 150,000 subscribers Now, diving into the second story, the video Spec Ops Shooter Remake. Reading from PlayStation Universe, 2K Games reportedly has an unannounced remake in the works, according to the LinkedIn profile of Brett Shoup, a 3D artist and motion capture animator at the company. His profile reveals the list of titles that Shoup has been working on since February 2022, and it includes a new entry in the Mafia series, which I hope we get an announcement for that sometime soon. Very excited for that. Uh, the next Bioshock game, which I'm worried was what's going on with that game because i don't think we've heard good things there super massive games canceled airbus title and an upcoming unannounced remake 2k games hasn't officially announced that it's working on a remake and shoop's profile doesn't offer any hint as to what the project could be however speculation online suggests it might be a remake of spec ops the line which was removed from online stores earlier this year so Spec Ops The Line is kind of a cult classic from the PlayStation 3 360 era for people who played the game. I played a bit of it, but haven't fully played the game myself. But from what I've heard from people who have played the game fully, all I hear are good things and how great the game was and how much they loved it and how great the story was. A lot of just positive things about this game. It's a game that didn't really hit the mass audience of players at the time. So a remake would be a great way to bring that game back to modern audiences and if enough people are interested in it could push for a sequel from 2k games which i hope is the case considering how much good i've heard about this game and if there is a remake of spec ops the line i'll be i'll be interested in getting that day one but you guys let me know if you've played spec ops the line or not let me know down in the comments below
And now diving into the final story of the video, another update landing on AstroBot. Reading from PlayStation Universe, Team Isobi has released the second update for Astro's Playroom ahead of the release of the highly anticipated AstroBot for PlayStation 5 this September. You may recall that back in early June, the studio released a new update for Astro's Playroom, which implemented new collectibles and trophies for the PlayStation 5 pack and title. Now, a fresh patch has been released that includes more hidden bots. You'll get a message about them if you finish the secret at the end of the main game so keep an eye out for it so i'm not really sure what the secret at the end of the main game is i thought you kind of just go figure out the puzzle you unlock the character that's how i did it for lady maria but regardless this is a pretty cool way to see Team Asobi or any developer in general hype up the release of their next game. I've done one of these, as I just said so far. I'll do this other one once I'm done with Beyond Good and Evil, which is a game that I'm playing right now. Just a sidetrack of the story here. But obviously, it's to hype up their next game, Astrobot, releasing later this year. But why these specific characters? Are they, are they chosen at random or do they connect to something? So far, it's been Lady Maria from Bloodborne. And with this new update, we got Deja Few. Deja Few? <laughs> who's Celine from Returnal. I like the name Deja Few. Um, but why did they choose Lady Maria and Celine? We're going to be getting another one in about 30 days from the Celine update and the final one right before the launch of the game on September 6th. It's a very cool way to go about hyping up the launch of their next game. But again, why these characters specifically? Maybe it's something I've personally missed. Maybe they've explained why it's these characters, uh, why we got Lady Maria and Celine so far. But I'm not sure about that. You guys could probably tell me if you've seen it. But you guys let me know if you've done these Astrobot hidden missions or not. Let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, please hit that like button. As it always helps and subscribe if you're new. I got new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And now I'll check you guys out on the next one. And welcome back to the after show. This is the part of the video where we have a little fun down in the comments below. If you're old, welcome back. If you're new, welcome. For today's thing, what I want you guys to do is the body, obliterate, destroy, and overall harass the comments section with it is a new week. As always, it's a new week, new week for potential rumors, new week for potential news, exciting news, hopefully, a new week for potential leaks. I'm excited always for a new week because it's, sometimes it's surprising. Yes, we do have dry weeks, but there's also other weeks where we get some exciting information, exciting leaks, exciting rumors to discuss and talk about. And hopefully that's this week, just like we hope that it was last week. <laughs> so if you're excited for the new week ahead, destroy the comment section with it is a new week. And I'll definitely heart those comments like I always do because I appreciate everybody who stays to the end of my videos. And now I'll check you guys out on the next one.